Hello everyone, today we are diving into the world of flutter development with the block pattern. Block stands for business logic component. It's a powerful way to separate your app's business logic from the user interface. The results in apps that are easy to maintain, reuse and test. So think of it like a radio station. The station is the block, managing all broadcasts. The programs are the different states being played. The listeners are the UI widgets that respond to these broadcasts. The DJ acts like an event dispatcher, changing programs based on the user requests. Block manages the logic while the UI simply listens and reacts. So why use block? Without block, your UI and logic are often tightly coupled, making it hard to scale, test or maintain the app. With block, you can get a clear separation between UI and logic. This means your app can grow easily, testing becomes straightforward and you can reuse components across your app. In short, less headache and more flexibility. So let's break down the core idea of block with a simple real world example, an event like a customer placing an order. The state is the meal being prepared or delivered. The block is the waiter coordinating everything between customer and kitchen. The stream is the communication channel where updates happen. So when the event happens, block processes it and sends a new state by the stream to upload the UI. In the code snippet, you can see that there is an increment event which is emitting the state and incrementing it by one. So now let's look at a basic Flutter counter app example. Using block provider will provide a block instance, then the block builder listens to the state and replaces the UI when needed. When the floating action button is pressed, it dispatches an increment event. Simple, clean and powerful. To summarize, block makes your code base more maintainable and scalable. You get cleaner separation of concerns. It's easier to test and debug your app. Whenever you are, you are building interactive data driven apps, Block can be your best friend. So if you want to learn more, check out the Flutter.dev and blocklibrary.dev. Also explore open source GitHub repository for real world examples. Now it's your turn. Try building your next Flutter app screen using Block and experience the difference it makes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tech tutorials.